Hey, buddy? Yeah, I know you said not to come in here during the day. It's like 9 p.m. No, nothing's wrong. Well, not with me. I was gonna ask if something's wrong with you. You're usually up by now, but the past week you've been... oversleeping? I guess, if you can call it that. Are you sick or something? I can get you some medicine if... You're not sick. Are you sure? Because you look paler than usual. Not really sure how that's even possible. Jesus, okay, I didn't realize it was that serious. You could have let me know you were in that desperate a situation. What can I do to help? You have to... Okay, explain. I promise I won't freak out. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know you're a vampire. Well, you're not exactly good at hiding it. Come on. You work night shift, you're sensitive to sunlight, you're allergic to garlic. Yeah, people who are allergic to foods don't act like me ordering Italian food is the difference between life and death. Everything about you just screams vampire. Yeah, I know you're goth. A goth vampire. All the clues were there. And there was that one time you left your phone open on a conversation about buying blood. At first I thought you were just really deep into roleplay. There are definitely people like that. Why would I say anything? That's not really any of my business. I figured you could be a weird goth vampire role player as long as you still paid your half of the rent. But then... There was one night. It was after we went to that charity show in town. We were walking back, and you told me to go on ahead, because you wanted to meet up with a friend. I did leave, but then I realized it was late at night, it might not be safe to be alone, so I turned around. I thought I'd walk with you until you met up with your friend and then cab it back home. Yeah. I saw you enter an alley. And when I looked around the corner, I saw you giving money to someone. At first I thought it was a dealer, but then I saw you bite their neck. At that point, it became pretty obvious that you were the real deal, or deep enough in character that you might as well be. They were a dealer? Of a sort... So, I'm guessing they sell you their blood? How often do you... Only once a month? Right, so they can recover. But what do you do the rest of the time? Find other people to... Drink from? You buy animal blood. That works, too. Oh, I see. So human blood is like... premium gasoline? Okay. So, I'm assuming you're telling me all this because you're out of blood? Jeez, you should have just told me. Where do you normally get animal blood? Oh, that butcher shop. That makes sense. Wait, aren't they closed for renovations? Shit, okay. Uh, how long until your dealer will let you drink from them? It was supposed to be last week. What happened? 
Oh, damn. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give up my blood after a car accident either. Well, I'm sure I can... No, wait, all the butchers will be closed by now. Sorry, I know that's not helpful. Um... How long do you think you have before you... dry up? Oh, then tomorrow I can... But... What's that mean? So, if you get thirsty enough, you'll just... snap? Okay, yeah, that'd be bad. Last thing we need is you draining one of our neighbors. Or me. That's what you're asking? Wait, you want my blood? Uh... Hey, I don't want you to die or go on a rampage. But, um, I'm a little squeamish about blood. And pain. It's not that I don't trust you, but the fangs. Uh, the fact that you have venom is the last thing I want to hear right now. Oh. How quickly will it numb the bite? What? This is a new experience. I've never been bitten by a vampire before. I want to know what to prepare for. Just a pinch? Well, I guess. All right, I'll come over. Jeez, you look even worse up close. Sorry, just... What are you doing? Does it have to be on the neck? That's a bit awkward. My wrists have more visible veins, don't they? Better for drinking from. Okay. Wait, I should give you my emergency contacts in case something goes wrong. I'm not stalling, I... Hey! Uh, hurts. No. Wait. I'm okay. Just feels weird. Hey. How much are you taking? I'm... getting... tired. What happened? You scared me. I did not expect to be waking up in your bed today. Wait, what time is it? Six? Oh, damn. I have to work today at eight. I better get ready. Wait, are you good now? I mean, are you not dying now? Did you get enough? Oh, good. Man, my head. It sure feels like you took enough to last until the butcher shop reopens. Sorry for taking your bed. Oh, right. You don't even sleep here at night. So what'd you do? Don't tell me you went to work. You watched over me. Uh, thanks? I know it was just to make sure I was okay, but... I mean... It's a bit creepy. Like that scene in... Okay, maybe I shouldn't reference that around you. But anyway, 
Glad you're feeling better, and, uh, hopefully we don't have to do that again. No, no, it, it didn't hurt that bad. Uh, it felt... odd, that's all. Anyway, I need to get ready for work, and you're probably gonna go to bed soon, right? Yep, figured. So I will see you later. <sighs> There's no way I can tell them it actually felt good. What is wrong with me? Oh, I gotta stop recording before they start testing the fire alarms. Thank you, Super K, for the coffee donation.